Today's episode, we're going to be following Mark Allison and his entire team at Land Solution. They're one of the fastest growing IT services companies across the nation, and they face a unique challenge of growing a sales team very fast in a short period of time. We're going to give them the sales process that no matter who is having the conversation with the client, whether it's the initial conversation all the way to client delivery, how will they be able to sell more faster? I'm Mark Allison, President and CEO of Land Solutions. Land Solutions has uh, been around since uh, the year 2000. Um, came about uh, after some experiences working with larger companies and I wanted to be in an organization that uh, had a focus on people and, and service. Um, so branched out on my own and started Land Solutions. Good morning, welcome to Land Solutions. One of the key things is that w you have to believe that growth comes from allowing people to be their best selves. So we allow our, our techs and our uh, admin staff to, to run as much as, as possible without micromanaging. Uh, we provide support. Um, we have a team environment where we meet regularly, we talk about our challenges, work on getting those resolved in a timely fashion together. And so there's always a, uh, an open door policy. Communication is key and we all have bad days and it, it's, it's critical that we talk about those so that we can understand what's going on and be supportive of each other. That key piece continues to feed the morale and, and, and we can add things like uh, going to go-karting and snowmobiling and skiing and all those things are great and are great perks to, to add more of a friendship to, to the team but at the same time we're working on a daily basis and it's about how can I make the experience for you coming to Land Solutions so that on a Monday morning you're not concerned about ah oh, it's Monday it's more like hey it's Monday I get to go to work and I'm gonna do some great stuff because I'm empowered to do so. Mark, our boss, is really big on having a great morale here and just all about building the team and just having a really good focus on customer service but also on making the team the best it can be. Oftentimes it's, it's been challenging in one way or another to find the right people to fit the, the mold of land solutions. So we want to have somebody who's great with people, great with relationships, but also very tech savvy and a good communicator. Whatever people we hire on, they're a direct reflection of, of land solutions as a whole. So we, we are a bit picky and we do like to have the right people in place. Everybody likes to say they have good people and they deliver good service, they have good products. Uh, that's just kind of table stakes and it, and it seemed like table stakes for land, but there was something more as well, right? This, this philosophy of, of, of truly customer customer first and what I really appreciated about Mark and what I've learned from Mark um, through his philosophies in business were that you can't be two people in business so you can only be yourself and uh, whatever that means as you're connecting with your customers I can't be business marshal and and uh, father marshal and business owner marshal um, they're all the same guy and so if uh, you can show that sincerity to your customers and just be the one voice for them uh, for, for your customers and for, for your own business. Uh, this is something I really learned early for him and he d developed a lot of really good relationships with his customers, uh, which was something that I was trying to establish and I was able to learn that from him early on. And I'm on LinkedIn on a, on a regular basis and Kim's name just kept coming up and up and up. And uh, so I finally connected with her. I sent her a message and I said, I see you all over the place. I want to know how you're doing this. Uh, at the time, Sales were more organic for us, and I wanted to have a focus on growing our business by learning the sales process and uh, being comfortable with being a sales organization, not just a relationship organization. And that's been something that, uh, that's been lacking in the past. I had a, uh, an hour meeting with Kim, and I found her to be uh, very elegant, eloquent, knowledgeable, uh, professional, and uh, she asked me to come on board and. Even for whatever price she could have asked, I, I was on. The workshop that she's running right now is gonna be uh, phenomenal for our organization, so. We are continuing to grow locally in Calgary, but we have uh, great partnerships and uh, individuals in other cities. So Vancouver and Edmonton are key targets for us as well. There's opportunity, a client base here that we can replicate in, in Edmonton and the same for Vancouver, and continue to grow that with a support desk here, primarily in Calgary, but having people, uh, sales staff, technical support, people on the street in both cities to allow us to, to continue to grow in a lot more efficient manner than we could in one place. So Western Canada, being Alberta and, and, uh, and BC would be our focus for the future. At the end of the 
the day, it doesn't matter how passionate you are about your product or service, if you're not willing to knock on the doors, make the phone calls, continue to be there all the time, you're never gonna make the sales. You have to be willing to be creative, be nimble, be collaborative with your clients, understand where they're coming from and create a solution with them, not for them. And finally, integrity. This is where most people understand that sales is wrong. They like to believe that salespeople are dishonest, that there are ones that are out there being manipulative and coercive and deceptive. Integrity is about doing what you say and saying what you do. And if you do those three things every single time, you will make more sales. Continue to follow us on social media. I look forward to seeing you on every episode. And don't forget to check out our website for even more information or how to become your own sales knockout.